Gentlemen, so my question to you is who's ready for a little field trip? We're headed to the gym again. We're going to pump a little iron. Last time we did buys, we did tries. Today it's all about chest. That's right. We're going to work chest. It's about to get striated and shredded, not to mention a little bit more massive up in the Alpha M house. The way that I work out is definitely bodybuilder versus power lifter mentality. I do high reps. I use a weight that's manageable, but I'm always focused and fixated on form, making sure that I'm squeezing, I'm contracting, I'm not rushing things. And what I have found is that it's incredibly effective. And so without any further ado, gentlemen, grab your gym shoes and jock strap because we're headed to the gym. All right, guys. So the first exercise in this workout is actually going to be the pec deck. Um, I love the pec deck because it stabilizes all of the joints and allows them to warm up. Now, the trick and what I like to do is actually lower the seat so that my elbows, when performing this exercise, stay nice and high. You never want to let them drop, okay? So, right here, right, and together. Pause. Nice and slow back, good stretch, great stretch. And together, right here. Oh gosh, this feels so good. Remember, you don't wanna let your elbows drop down. That puts a lot of pressure on your shoulders. Oh, right here, great stretch. Notice I'm not going super fast. I'm not repping, uh-uh, nice and slow. With a pause in the center, getting a great squeeze. I feel this right away. When you're finished with 12, you're gonna set it down right down for push-ups. We're gonna shoot for 12 to 15, 20 if you're feeling studly, all right? Good, solid push-ups. Push-ups, I don't wanna do push I'm gonna throw me on a bench press, incline, give it some of that. Push-ups are for pussy. Till you try this workout, shh. And when you're finished, you're gonna rest for 30 seconds. All right, so you're gonna rest for about 30 seconds. I would recommend resting on the pec deck because after that 30 seconds, you're diving right back in. You're gonna get two more sets of the pec deck push-up combo. How are you feeling? <laughs> it's tough, I'm telling you. Cutting down the amount of rest in between the sets is, it, it works the muscles in a totally different way. Guys, buckle up. It's time to move on to group number two. Our next grouping or set of exercises is going to be cable crosses along with body weight dips. Cable crosses or cable flies, in my opinion, are one of the best exercises for really getting a great stretch in that chest. But notice, it's all about the form as well. Your elbows are coming up. They're not dropping down. You're not going here. It's here, down. Notice my elbows are sliding diagonally back. Here, not here. Here, chest up nice and tall. Bang, right there with the pause. Great stretch. One foot is forward, one foot is back. Stabilizing this exercise is awesome. We're gonna get 10 to 12 reps uh, with the pause. Remember guys, it's not about how fast you're going, it's about how well you're controlling and contracting those muscles. And when you're finished, uh, you're burning, you're on fire, but you're gonna set it down. And we're headed to dips. Body weight dips are one of the best exercises that you can do to develop your chest. You get an amazing stretch, you get a real deep, it's, it's fantastic. Now, if you're not strong enough or after the first grouping of exercises, you're a little bit tired and you wanna use the assisted dip machine, that's great. But for those of you who are ready to take it to that next level, non-assisted, gentlemen, we're gonna hop up, bang out 12 to 20 repetitions. Boom. Boom. Pause for a second at the bottom and up. Pause and up. Pause and up. Keeping those elbows out. If your elbows slide backwards, you're actually putting a lot more tension and focus on your shoulders and triceps as opposed to your chest. Keep those elbows out. <laughs> they are incredible. Your chest at this point in the workout is killing you, but you got two more sets of cables and dips. All right, so you guys with me still? All right, we got one more group or set of exercises. It is going to be dumbbell flies with decline push-ups. All right, guys, you're gonna need a bench. You're also gonna need some dumbbells. Dumbbell flies get a bad rap. 
Personally, they are my favorite chest exercise. I really attribute my chest development to the stretching motion, specifically dumbbell flies. If you've got shoulder issues, you probably don't want to do it. If you've got bad form, you definitely don't want to do this exercise because it does put a lot of pressure and, or I should say, it can put a lot of pressure and strain on your shoulder joint. All right, you never want to lock your elbows, keep them soft, kick it back and get started. Nice and deep, ah, and together. Pause and together. Notice my elbows are back, all right? They're not dipping, they're not dropping, all right? The motion is very similar to the pec deck here, but the dumbbells allow you to get an even deeper stretch and to use a lot of those stabilizing muscles that the machine or the pec deck does not. And at this point in the workout, you're warmed up and this feels, oh gosh, this feels incredible. You're gonna get eight to 12 reps. But notice, there's a pause and a squeeze. When you're finished, your reps, you're gonna set it down. Set them down. Now is the final exercise. You're going right into push-ups. Now, if you're totally spent, do push-ups on the floor on your knees, however you need to do them. Me, I'm still feeling okay, so I'm gonna actually put my feet up on the bench to elevate them to make the push-ups a little bit more challenging. Feet up, here, back nice and straight, down and up, down and up. You're gonna hit as many as you can, I'll say 10 to 20 reps. And at this point in the workout, <laughs> Everything is on fire. Your chest, your shoulders, your triceps, you're dying, but you got two more sets. The entire workout will be listed down in the description. It'll be right below the link and special offer for today's video sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. Fact, hair covers up hard work and muscles. If you wanna look more shredded and striated, start shaving things. <laughs> your chest, your arms. Removing the hair is the best and easiest way to see definition and to actually look like you're making progress Faster. Dollar Shave Club has come into the shaving market and has totally disrupted things. They were like, yo, why is it that you have to sell your house in order to be able to afford a great shave? We think we can do it better, and they did. For a few bucks a month, they're going to ship you directly to your door amazing high-quality blades that are going to be perfect for all of your face shaving and manscaping needs. There's no contract, no long-term commitment, just amazing blades. I absolutely love Dollar Shave Club, and I feel so fortunate that they like my content enough to actually let me talk about their razors. They're super high quality and they just work. They work and everybody I talk to is like, yo, I tried Dollar Shave Club. You were right. It's incredible. I'm like, yeah, no kidding. It's a ridiculous deal. And while you're there selecting which handle and blade you would like, you need to check out their grooming products. All of the products that I have tried, including the shave butter, the shampoo, the body wash, the soap, it is ridiculous. The way I see it, you got nothing to lose except a lot of money if you don't go and check them out and try them. And besides, there's no hidden fees, no contract. You can cancel any damn time you want. And one more thing. If you dig these fitness videos, do me a solid. Give this video a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments and I will do more because I like doing them. If you like watching them. If you don't, they're done.